Janet Albrechtson has written brilliantly about this in the Australian newspaper. And she makes an outstanding point today that Higgins and Shiraz, the partner, made a deliberate decision not to use the criminal justice system, but to use the media with help from so-called supporters in the media. This was the gamble. Make the rape allegations a media and political story instead of a criminal justice matter where under the law she would have been anonymous. A deliberate choice from Higgins and her advisers. Why? No one in the so-called advisor team advised Higgins against this. The only two people who encouraged her to go to the police about the matter were Linda Reynolds and her former chief of staff, Fiona Brown. Both of them demonised by the Higgins team. Yet Albanese, Gallagher and co forked out confidentially, reportedly, $3 million because Higgins sued the Commonwealth, sued Linda Reynolds and others, alleging Higgins had experienced negligence, victimisation, sex discrimination and harassment in the wake of her allegations against Mr Lehman. Even though Higgins had written to Linda Reynolds to thank her for the wonderful things she'd done for her and to Fiona Brown. The matter was settled by Attorney General Dreyfus following a one day mediation. But the Albanese government banned Senator Reynolds from providing evidence in the compensation case. Why? The taxpayer has been told nothing. Higgins got the money because she alleged she wasn't adequately supported by her employers and she was discouraged from speaking to police. When in relation to Linda Reynolds and her chief of staff, Fiona Brown, the opposite is the case. Of course, Higgins' partner, fiancé Shiraz, boasted that Senator Gallagher was an old friend and it was Gallagher's department that forked out the reported $3 million. This is a real test for Peter Dutton. As I said last night, the former cop, he's a former cop, he's got to politically arrest those not telling the truth. And it seems there's a lot of them. Higgins and co wanted to go the media route, not the criminal justice route. They must now accept that there are, there are informed and dedicated sections of the media not happy with what they're being told.